Vicksburg, Mississippi, June 7th, 1881. Dear Sister Clara, I arrived here at midnight Saturday and was very glad to get your letter when I went to the office Monday. I was glad to see the picture of Frankie. I think it looks very natural indeed. Accept my thanks for it. My health is very good. I have had no trouble since I came down here. I think that I stand the heat full as well as the natives. About as much. I am loafing around three quarters of the time as I can work up such cities as this very quick. But I have to stay around to deliver the goods sometimes. I expect this state is the worst I shall go through for business. I shall not go round through here much. This is the largest city in the state, and this is truly a one-horse place. I don't know, as there is as many as that here, all being mules. There is one third-class railroad running into the city, and their rates are only five cents per mile. All roads here are four and over, and the steamboats are worse than the cars. They ask $10 from here to New Orleans, no further than from Boston to Bangor. That includes meals. Storekeepers and hotel keepers are just as bad, so I have raised on the price of tools to be in the fashion. I expect to go from here to New Orleans tomorrow night, that is, go to Jackson, where I have got to deliver some tools, then stop at one more place between there and New Orleans. So I shall get there Saturday probably, and am likely to be there the rest of the month. It is pretty warm here, but the nights are cool, and I understand that it is more comfortable at New Orleans than here on account of the sea breezes. There is a national cemetery here a few miles up the river where the government has buried 16,000 Union soldiers. I have not seen it yet, but I went out to the National Cemetery at Memphis, Decoration Day. There are about 14,000 buried there. It is a very well-kept place. There were but few white people to the decoration services, but many colored. Most of the whites take more interest in the Confederate decoration, which they celebrated a week or two earlier. They are going to have a great cotton exposition at Atlanta, Georgia this fall, and I expect to get over that way so as to see it. I think Georgia and Alabama are better states for business than this. There is more enterprise there. Northern people are coming to Georgia, but no one would want to come to Mississippi. All the southern states have a license law, but the U.S. Supreme Court has lately decided them to be unconstitutional. So I shall not pay any, but shall have to look out and not get caught peddling, that is, delivering at the same time that I take the order, as they have a license for that. Everyone here that does any business has to pay a license. But when they went to collecting of drummers from other states, they found that the U.S. had something to say about it. They have gouged the drummers out of thousands of dollars heretofore. But it has been fought and decided this spring. I hope this will find you all well and shall look for a letter 
while I am in New Orleans, and remember that it takes three or four days for it to come. Yours with love, Winfield.